Yo, all going family, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Late Night with Ace, and today we have Joe Rogan and Elon Musk, are we in a simulated reality? Um, I personally like to watch these kind of videos, especially people like Elon Musk, to dive into their mind and see how they think and how they interpret things, you know, see how their perception on, on certain things, um, because they are gifted minds, so try to show them the respect that they deserve and yeah we're gonna we're gonna really see what's, what he's talking about in this video um as you know elon musk is the owner of the tesla franchise so it's a vibe the man's a big deal he's like one of the richest men in the world so we're gonna see joe rogan um shout out to you for your podcast very good podcast or interviewer um very good diving into the minds of people and asking the questions that need to be asked you check so yeah we're gonna start this off make sure y'all leave in the comments if y'all like this video subscribe to my channel if you're new um follow me on instagram as well at your age twitter at your hd family and let's get it happier right now most technology i would say no in fact you and i were talking about social media before this about just not having Instagram on your phone and not dealing, and mm -hmm. you feel better. Yes, I think. This video is like, what, 15 minutes? So make sure y'all kick back. We about to lock in with them man's too, you check. So get your drinks, popcorn, and take five seconds to go like this video right now. One, two, three, four, five, boom. But one of the issues with social media, it's been pointed out by many people, is that. Um, My movie. I think maybe particularly Instagram, um, people look like they have a much better life than they really do. Right. So By design. Yeah, people are posting pictures of when they are really happy. They're modifying those pictures to be better looking. Sure the um, good thing. Even if they're not modifying the pictures, they're at least selecting the pictures for the best lighting, the best angle. Um, so people basically seem... Uh, uh, they're way better looking than they basically really are right um, and they're way happier seeming than they really are so if you look at everyone on Instagram you might think man they're all these happy beautiful people and I'm not that good looking and I'm not happy so I'm a suck you know and that's gonna and that's the average human you check that be on Instagram comparing yourself to other people that's why self-love is very important, fellas. If you love yourself, you'll be sure of yourself so you don't compare yourself to other people. Never do that because you are unique being you. Boom. Make you feel you sad. So when, in fact, those people you think are super happy, actually, not that happy. Some of them are really depressed. They're very sad. Some of the happiest-seeming people, actually some of the saddest people in reality. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of influences, celebrities, and, and, and stuff nobody like that, looks bro. good all the time. It doesn't matter who you are. No, it's not even something you should want. Why do you yeah. want to look great all the time? Yeah, exactly. So, uh, so I think yeah. I think things like that can make people quite sad. Well, um, just just by comparison, because you, you just sort of you, you people people generally think of themselves relative to to others. It's it's a we are constantly re re baselining our expectations. Um, and you can see this, say, if you watch some show like Naked and Afraid or, you know, if you just <laughs> go and try living in the woods by yourself for a while, mm -hmm. and you're like, the learn that civilization is quite great. It has a lot, it's a lot of it. It's, people want to come back to civilization pretty fast on Naked what? and Afraid. Wasn't that a right. Thoreau quote? The comparison is a thief of joy? Yeah. Well, happiness is reality minus expectations. <laughs> That's great too. Bro, imagine waking up in the forest, no phone, no nothing. And you have to look and survive, bro. Basically gonna be like before the Blackberry came out. I tell you, when the Blackberry came out, something fucked up happened to reality. I'm not gonna lie to you. As soon as that Blackberry phone came out, because when we had them flip phones, them flip phones, all you could really do is text, maybe give me five or three to call or something. But I don't know, something happened to you. But the comparison is a thief of joy really holds true to people. Is it? Theodore Roosevelt. Roosevelt, fascinating. Um, in, when you're thinking about 
Instagram, because what essentially Instagram is with a lot of people is you're giving them the opportunity to be their own PR agent, and they always go towards the glamours, mm-hmm. you know. And when any, anybody does show, you know, hashtag no filter, you know, <laughs> if they, if they really do do that, like, oh, you're so brave. Look at you, no makeup. You know, yeah. Which, they look good anyway. You look great. What are you doing? Oh my God, you don't have makeup on. You still look hot as fuck. You know what you're doing. Hashtag no filter. You're doing too. I remember they're, they're, days they're letting you know. And then they're feeding off that comment section. Ooh. Just a little <laughs> sitting there like, like it's a, a fresh stream of love. Like you're getting right up to the source as it comes out of the earth and you're sucking that a lot sweet, of, lot of sweet emojis. love water. It's emojis. Emojis. Okay. Yeah. A lot of Weird. emojis. My, my concern is not so much what Instagram is, is that I didn't think that people had the need for this or the expectation for some sort of technology that allows them to constantly get love and adulation from strangers and comments and and this ability the people also didn't think we needed a need for tv or stuff like that when we just had the radio and look where it is now but that's a scary thing boy i know that that's really scary about the future to project but you never know you can't be you can't think it's going to be bad. You got to think it's going to be good. Because if you think it's going to be bad, then you're only going to have bad thoughts about it. So I'm expecting the best. Not gonna this lie. sort of distorted version of who you really are. But I worry about where it goes. Like, what's the next one? What's the next one? Like, where is it? Is it going to be augmented? Is some sort of a weird augmented or virtual sort of Instagram okay. type situation <laughs> where you're not going to want to live in this real world. You're going to want to interface with this the sort of world that you've created through your social media page. Some next level thing. Hello? It's yeah. <laughs> You're living the simulation. Yeah, maybe. It, In the simulation. Some Ready Player One type shit that's real. That seems. We have that HTC vibe Doesn't here. Seems I've only cool. done it a couple of times, quite honestly, because it kind of freaks me out. Sure. My kids fucking love it, man. They love it. They love playing these weirdo games and, and, and walking around with that headset on. But part of me watching them do it goes, wow, I wonder if this is like the precursor. Just sort of like if you look at that, that phone that Gordon Gecko had on the beach. Yes. And then you compare the big that. Cell phone. Yeah, you compare that to like a Galaxy Note 9. Sure. Like how the fuck did that become that, right? And I wonder when I see this yes. HTC Vive, I'm like, what is that thing going to be 10 years from now when we're making fun of what it is now? What is it? Fuck. How? I mean, how ingrained? Fuck. And how, how, how connected and interconnected? Is this technology going to be in our life? It will be, at some point, indistinguishable from reality. Where we'll lose this. Well, he looked like he just seen it all, boy. I don't know what. Leave in the comments, y'all think the same, but something about his actions just looked like he's just seen it all. Elon Musk, I'm talking about. I boy, like he knows so he knows too much, but he has to dumb it down. We lose this. Like you and I are just looking at each other through our eyes. I see are you. We? You see me. I think. I hope. You think so? I think you probably have regular eyes. This could I would be love to talk to him. Like it could. just me and Do him. Do you entertain that? Well, the argument for the simulation, I think, is quite strong. Because if you assume any improvement at all, over time, any improvement, one percent, point one percent, just extend the time frame, make it a thousand years. A million years. The universe is 13.8 billion years old. What would a civilization, if you count it, if you're very generous, civilization is maybe seven or eight thousand years old, if you count it from the first writing. This is nothing. This is nothing. Um, so, if you assume any rate of improvement at all, then games will be indistinguishable from reality. No. I think so. Or civilization will end. One of those two things will occur. Therefore, Ultimate. we are most. Y'all had it from Elon Musk himself. Hold on, my phone's ringing. I'm dreaming right now. Was even a ring was a lamb, but yeah, y'all heard it from the ghost mouth himself. May not even exist soon, cause uh, this shit might get too advanced. It's likely in a simulation. <laughs> or we're on our we way exist. to one, right? 
Well, but so just because we exist, we, we could most we, certainly be on the road. We could be on the road to that, right? It doesn't mean that it has to have already happened. We could be in base reality. We could be in base reality. We could be here now on our way to the road or on our way to the destination where this can never happen again where we are completely ingrained in some sort of an artificial technology or some sort of a symbiotic relationship with the internet or the next level of uh, sharing information. But right now we're not there yet. That's possible too, right? It's possible that a simulation is one day going to be inevitable, that we're going to have something that's indistinguishable from regular reality. But maybe we're not there yet. That's like, also possible. Yeah, it's like VR or VR. Is we're not yes, quite there yet. Imagine where VR is going to develop to go. We're using the starting stage today. Uh, th this is real? When I touch that it feels wood, very real. Maybe that's why everybody's like into like mason jars and shit. Mason jars. Suede shoes. People mm -hmm. are into like craft restaurants and they, they want raw wood. Everyone wants, to see, everyone wants to see metal. People. It seems like people are like longing towards some weird log cabin type nostalgia. Sure. reality. Yeah, like mm -hmm. holding mm -hmm. on, like clinging. Just sure. dragging their nails through the mud like, don't take me yet. Yes. I want to but, but then but then people will go get a mason jar with a wine stem or a handle. That's dark. Mason Makes me jar? lose faith in with humanity. A wine stem and a handle, do they have those? Yes. Oh, those dirty people. Oh, That's just terrible. assholes. That's like people who make pet rocks. Rough. Right? This is, some people are just assholes. They take advantage of our, our our generous nature. Which was made with a wine stem. Made with a handle. They made it that way. Yes. So the, the it wasn't it was like they welded like it that. onto the mace. Ah, oh, you no, that would be fine if there was they glued it on or something. But right, it that would made, be like it was made that way. White trash chic. Oh, this is disgusting. Yes. Look at this. There it is, right harsh. there. Yep. This is terrible. Right. I don't mind that Bruce yeah. Jennifer in that angle. That's like fake breasts that are designed to be hard, like fake breasts from the '60s. It's like if you really long for the ones with ripples. There go here Joe go. Rogan laughing at his own jokes again. Yeah, that's almost what that is. Yeah. What are you gonna do, man? There's not nothing. You know, it's not you can do stop certain terrible ideas from propagating. Yeah. Um. Anyway, I I don't want to sound like like things are too dark because I think like you, you kind of have to be optimistic about the future. There's no point in being optimistic. It's just too Hundred. negative. Like doesn't it's help. Not, it doesn't help. You know, I think you want to be... I mean, my theory is, like, you'd rather be optimistic... I think I'd rather, I'd rather be optimistic and wrong than pessimistic and right. Right. Mm. At least err on that side. Right. Yeah. Because mm. if, you, if you're pessimistic, you're just going to be miserable. Yeah. Yeah, That's nobody facts. wants to be around you anyway. If it's the yeah, but if y'all ever been about around some real pessimistic people... You know how that feels like it's just like their their beliefs and just just limited to what they think or what they what they want to think or they they never think outside the box, man. Jack, they just have one way of living. Jack, the end of the don't world. Don't question like, anything, bro. Yeah, the world exactly. ending. Yeah, it is I what mean, it is for all. I mean, enjoy the journey. Right, if you really want to get morose i mean it is what it is for all of us anyway we were all gonna go unless some something changes yeah you know I, I mean ultimately you know even if we just sort of existed as humans forever we'd be we'd still eventually that'd be like the heat death of the universe right a zillion years from now right um, even if we get it past the sun i said it figure out a way past the sun he said a gazillion. eventually it's gonna end it's just a something. question of when right so it really is all about the journey hmm um, or transcendence from what y'all hear that it's about the journey whatever we are now into something that doesn't worry about death facts the universe as we know it will dissipate into a fine mist of cold nothingness eventually and then someone's gonna bottle Man, it and put a fragrance to it sell it to French people you look too graceful saying that bro the universe is gonna Evolve into a cold mist of nothingness. But in another dimension. It's just a very long time. So yeah. I think it's, it's about, about the journey, fellas. How can we make it last longer? Are you a, a proponent of the multi universes theory? Do you believe that there are many, many universes and that even if this one fades out, that there's other ones that are starting fresh right now and there's an infinite number of them? 
Uh, they're just constantly in this never-ending cycle of birth and death. I think most likely, this is just about probability, there are many, many simulations. No, there's always slipped that probability simulations in are, there. We might as well call them reality, or you could call them multiverse. These simulations, you believe, are created? Like someone has manufactured... They're running on the substrate. So... That substrate is probably boring. Boring? Mm -hmm. How so? Well, when we create a simulation, like a game or a movie, it's the distillation of what's interesting about life. You know, like it, it takes... a big moment. a year to shoot an action movie. And then that's all distilled down into two or three hours. So, let me tell you, if you see an action movie being filmed, it's friggin' it's boring. Super boring. It takes, there's like lots of takes, there's, everything's in a green screen. It looks pretty goofy, doesn't look cool. Mm. But once you add the CGI and have great editing, it's amazing. So, I think most likely, if we're a simulation, it's really boring outside the simulation. Because why would you make a simulation that's boring? You'd make a simulation way more interesting than base reality. But Th that is if this to right get now people is out a simulation. To kind of get people out of reality, that's why they would want to be in a simulation. Um, yes. And ultimately, inevitably, we're if as long as we don't die or get hit by a meteor, we're mm -hmm. going to create some sort of simulation if we continue on the same technological path we're on, we're on right now. Yes. But we might not be there yet. So it might not be a simulation here. But it most likely is, you feel, other places. <laughs> this notion of place or where is, mm. is a... Flawed? Yes. Flawed like perception. Where, like right. that, if you have this sort of... That uh, Vive, you mm -hmm. know, which with a, that's made by Valve. And, Steam and H it's really Valve that made it. HTC did the hardware, but it's really a Valve thing. Um, mm. Makers of Half Life. Yes. <laughs> well, great company. Great company. Um, <laughs> uh, Brand deal incoming. When you're in that in that sim in that virtual reality, which is only going to get better. Where are you? Where are you really? Right. You aren't anywhere. Well, you're where is? You're in the computer. What, what you know? What defines program, where you are? Right. Exactly. Right. It's your perception. In an algorithm. Is it per your perceptions, or is it you know a scale that we have under your butt? You're what right here. I've measured you. You're the same weight as you were when you left. But uh, you, meanwhile, your experience. Why is do you think different. you're where you are right now? You might not be. I'll spark up a joint if you keep talking. <laughs> the manager's gonna come in here. We might have to lock the door. Right now, you think you're in a studio in L.A. That's what I heard. You might be in a computer. Oh, listen, man. I think about this all the time. Yeah, I mean, That's for real, though. it's unquestionable it's that perception. one day that'll be the case. As long as we keep going. As long as nothing interrupts us. And if we start from scratch and, you know, we're single-celled organisms all over again, and then millions and millions of years later we become the next thing that is us with creativity and the ability to change its environment, it's going to keep monkeying with things until it figures out a way to mm. change reality. Completely. To change, I mean, to, almost like punch a hole through what is this thing into what what it wants it to be and create new things and then those new things will like intersect a time warp and you just don't even know they might have you with some goggles on you just laid back like a mummy for years bro in a simulated reality like these <laughs> in some ice freeze layer or some shit bro with other people's new things and then it'll be this ultimate pathway of infinite ideas and expression all through technology yeah and then we're wonder we're gonna wonder like why are we here what are we doing let's find out <laughs> <laughs> well I, th I, th I mean i think we should take the actions the set of actions that are most likely to make the future better yes right yeah right right and then reevaluate those actions to make sure they're that it's true. What? Hmm. That was pretty interesting, hey, fellas. Is me. That was Elon Musk and Joe Rogan. Are we in a simulated reality? Um, my personal thoughts on AI and stuff is the number one leading 
industry right now, AI is gonna be huge, and it's only gonna get, it's only gonna get more advanced and advanced, fellas. So, take this as you mu- as you will. Take what Elon Musk was saying, Joe Rogan, and um, deep it. I like to do these videos so we can create a com conversation in the comments as well. Tell me what y'all think about, think about all of this and what they had to say on this situation in terms of social media and where technology is gonna go in the future um and uh and uh limitless things humans will be able to do as well in the future that we can't do now like travel to other planets and stuff like that that would be pretty dope i'm not gonna lie with man going in a big tunnel to another planet but um yeah my fellas that was joe rogan and elon musk make sure to let love guide you not fail keep questioning keep being an optimist and keep chasing your dreams. Every day wake up and be the, and try to be the best version of yourself.